My name is Wade Brown and this farm has been in our generation for 105 years and we're based in Needlup. We run in about 4,000 hectares. Um, we crop 2,500 hectares of wheat, barley, canola, peas and vetch and we also mate about 4,500 ewes to merinos. And, um, our one pallet challenge involved uh, growing vetch and undersowing it with some canola in one of the paddocks. Um, what we're trying to do is we have a few issues with grass weeds, also nitrogen um, in the following year and also in our sheep side of things for weaning lambs onto when you get that feed gap at the end of the year where the pastures run out and you haven't harvested yet to put your sheep onto stubbles. So yeah, also to help with that. Um, we chose that paddock because it is a very grassy paddock and we yeah, have a bit of trouble controlling the weeds there. Um, we went with vetch because we wanted also the sheep feed for that feed gap to wean our young lambs onto and then hopefully get them through to the stubble and keep them growing. And then you can still do the same as all your peas and lupins and stuff with the vetch. So it works a lot better in our system. We grow a bit of peas just for sheep feed, but the vetch are more just to wean your lambs and yeah. And the sh lambs on it were absolutely fantastic. We, um, we got most of our lambs up and away before the summer period. Um, in the long term, it just sets up the paddocks really well for, for your going into your wheat and barley the following years after that. It sets a lot of nitrogen and cleans the paddocks up really well. Following this year we'll do some plant tissue tests and we have done soil tests and we will work out if we do need to chuck a bit more nitrogen at it but it won't be as much as if it's coming out of a pasture or a crop on crop phase so hopefully save some money that way. We also undersowed a bit of canola just to give a bit more feed during the year because we grow a bit of vetch so the sheep won't eat it until we actually spray it out. So we've tried to undersow some canola with it so that gives them some grazing throughout the year so it's not just wasted until, yeah, until the end of the year till we spray it out. The advice I'd give to other farmers would be get on the FBG bandwagon. They help you out a lot with running trials and in agriculture and just get out there and give it a crack because you never know people might learn something from you.